So, uh, barring any unforeseen difficulties, uh, today on October 23rd, 2010, I think I will finally have my rolling chassis together. Um, this is where we are right now. I just have to put the wheels on. Um, finally got that hacked off. That's a pain in the ass. So, all I gotta do is drill holes in there, uh, mount the hub on there, and then well, I have to put bearings in the front wheels, uh, but that's not hard. And I'm uh, pretty sure today I should have this thing rolling down the driveway. <laughs> Well, the rear wheels are now on. I was almost thwarted by a lack of a nut, but uh, what is it? It's uh, about 10:35, and I've been at this since about eight o'clock this morning, and both rear wheels are on. Now I just got to get the front wheels. Really on you. I gotta put in these bearings. These bearings, uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, I got them from VXB.com for about 10 of them for about $30, I think. So they're about $3 each. And they're a 37 millimeter outer diameter, 20 millimeter inner diameter, I believe, which is just a wee bit, just a wee bit too big, just a little bit too big for these spindles, but I can get some uh, shim material. I was going to use stainless steel, I may still, uh, but I got some stainless steel and it was too hard for me to form, so for the time being I'm just going to use good old aluminum flashing material for this coast down the driveway when I get it all put together but first thing I gotta do is get these bearings into that wheel so to do that I gotta make a bearing press which is not very difficult as you will see the trick is you put a, get a big bolt three quarter inch bolt big washer like that put through bearing on big washer big nut and you just press it in and a little while later the bearings pressed in. Alright, front wheels are on. Back wheels are on. Time for the maiden voyage. <laughs> 